The Sports Car Vintage Racing Association is the largest vintage racing company in the world. And thanks to SVRA, vintage racing has been the fastest growing segment in motorsports for the past four years, boasting the largest fields of exotic and eclectic machines racing at the most prestigious road racing circuits in America. It would take entirely too long to show everything that we do in a racing season. So let's take a glimpse at one of our premier events at the most famous racetrack in the world, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the SVRA Brickyard Vintage Racing Invitational. This was the fourth year of the Indy Legends Charity Pro-Am race and this event is quickly becoming the most talked about vintage race in the world. This is such a great experience for SVRA drivers to get to hang out with their heroes and a great opportunity for the spectators to get to rub elbows with some of the biggest names in motorsports. I'm going to hold my line, a lot of fast cars around me, so a lot of good, good drivers. I want to make sure I hold my line and give them the opportunity to do what they need to do and then just try and settle in and run my pace until it's time for Bill to get in. This year, the Indy Legends Pro-Am was one of the best races I have ever seen. Now let me explain this. Former professional race car drivers that qualified for the Indy 500 get paired up with amateur owner drivers of American muscle cars from the late 60s and early 70s. The people in the crowd get to go back in time and experience a huge field of the loudest, most beautiful cars tear around this iconic venue, shaking the ground and pounding the eardrums for just under an hour. That like was crazy. a heck of a race. I enjoyed that so much. Winning in the brickyard is always awesome. It's an honor to be here, you know. Kurt and all the guys at Cobra have done a tremendous job. I mean, they couldn't prepare a better car. But it wasn't just about the racing. These events are festivals of speed and innovation and Haggerty hosted a huge show and shine car show in the infield. Jaguar let you test out a brand new Jaguar in the Jaguar Auto Course. Land Rover set up an off-road experience and Harley Davidson hosted a Concours motorcycle show and brought out their new line of bikes. Saturday night we hosted a great dinner party and concert. The concert from Three Dog Night was absolutely outstanding as Motostalgia also held a car auction and sold off a huge fleet of collector cars. And as always, we closed off Saturday night with a bang, but we weren't finished. Sunday are the feature races for our 12 groups of vintage race cars and Trans Am, America's longest running road racing series, came to Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the first time in their over 50 years in motorsports and they put on a great show for the spectators. This event is quickly becoming a fan favorite at Indianapolis and all of the racers told us they can't wait for next year.